and we've got a big heat coming for you. Heat 11 features Julian Wilson, Nat Young, and Jack Freestone. This heat is amazing. This is one of the better matchups in all of round one. Uh, I mean, you got three stallions and, and three different surfers, uh, very different styles that we're going to see on display here. Uh, Julian, first up, arguably one of the best here at J-Bay. Great front-footed approach. We talked about that from Adrian and Souza. Similar weight distribution from Julian. Uh, and I think that's so conducive for keeping that momentum down the line. It's a lot of function, but he can uh, free up his tail at will. So he's he's got the ability to really mix it up. And right there, you saw a great variety from Julian. Success. Plowed through a, a lot of heats. Just that, uh, that painful memory haunting them at times losing out in the final of a CT event. But here we go, Nat Young on his first wave. Just love the way Nat attacks the lip when he gets the opportunity. Driving off the bottom here. That section a little flat, but he might get something on the end here as this wave starts to steepen. Down the line, he climbs onto the roof and a tidy float to finish. Well, again, this heat is very, uh, it's going to be fun to watch because you have three different surfers and they all surf so different. And Nat Young, so you'll see as he'll kind of horizontally surf down the line. Again, he's not one of those surfers that's known for having like this uh, really smooth kind of flow between turns. He'll even kind of bounce and tap his board quite a bit. But when he finds a section to lay down for him, he is so strong. He's got, you know, some of the thickest legs on tour, and he really does utilize that power with throwing buckets, getting his fins to release. And uh, so as soon as that wave laid back for Nat, he laid in a three really strong moves. We're going to get a look at him right now as he gains some speed, racing down the line. His first section slowing up nicely. And he leans that board over, throwing plenty of spray. Neat little cut down. He'll pull into the barrel now. But just can't break out of that cell. And he goes down, moving forward. Well, you, you said it. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of Jack so far this year. And I'm excited to get comfortable with watching him on a wave because, uh, you know, he has got so much talent. As we see, you know, that was a great start for Jack. Pretty unfortunate that he couldn't finish that wave off, but... We go, some movement here, Julian. Head down, scratching to get into this one. Gets over that section of water. Jumps straight into a float. You have so much time on this wall to set up these inside sections, but you've got to take your opportunities for turns, and Julian letting go of two big calves through the midway point there. And just flowing beautifully now. He's on his way to a huge score. And he stomps a huge tail drop float. Well, he just might join Gabriel Medina with uh, that crazy two-wave total. That's going to be another massive score for Julian. I'm not going to argue against that. <laughs> I'm with you. Um, and again, a perfect wave here. So wave selection has been perfect for him. The rhythm with uh, Mother Nature, you know, as soon as he, he kind of stayed patient. And that opening carve right there, second carve was just as good. So two really strong, classic power carves from Julian. Well-placed linking turns there. And then finished his business with a good float. So, again, it's going to be way into the eights, maybe even into the nines. And again, uh, you know, Ronnie, I just love the fact that everything's falling into place for him. This is not a frustrating heat where you're fighting against Mother Nature. You know, every time he had priority, he sat there, he was patient, and he waited for this type of wave right here. Well, he cut some deep gouges in the face of that wall. A lot of power. Well, that number has dropped uh, an 8.97 for Wilson. So now Jack Freestone and Nat Young have a lot of work to do. Freestone up at the moment. Letting go of some nice turns. This is a fast wave, though. He's still out in front of it at the moment. Building speed. Watch for something big on the inside. Freestone just went to grab that rail and lay into that carve. 
but just lost contact with the rail of his board a little bit. And as a result, that move won't score too big. First snap from Jack was really solid. Sparky little tight pivot. Then he started kind of lost touch with the wave. And that young has a look over the back of this ride to see if there's anything better in the set. Eventually commits and he's over this one. He's going to jump off just under 18 minutes to go. Slightly confused. Got caught between a couple of maneuvers. So let's see if he can find the right rhythm and magic on this wall here. Here goes Jack. A lot of speed. A smaller wave. Goes for something big but doesn't stick it. Zeets, Michelle Perez, Stu Kennedy. As we see Jack Freestone in heat 11. Trying to break combination here. He needs an 8.15 to give himself a chance of doing that. Punching through the curtain at the end of that ride. Won't be a huge number. And Julian Wilson has the opportunity to extend his lead. He needs to replace an 8.97 serving with amazing speed and a lot of precision as he stalls for the barrel and finds the exit and tucks in once again and here he comes the Australian on fire he's going to be hard to beat again Julian in rhythm with the ocean uh, amazing the waves he's picked off in this heat and uh, he's had see this wave right here Julian Staying patient, waiting for that wave to open up. Kept that carve short. Leaned a little more into that second one. A little more torque. Beautiful hack on that third one. And then that's a bonus right there. That wave dropped out underneath him. Pretty square tube ride. And a second one for Julian. So great rhythm on that wave. Nothing was forced. And having fun. He's motoring back to the takeoff zone. He wants more. And there it is, a 9.6. So Jack Freestone and Nat Young with a lot of work to do now. Three seconds to go. This has been the performance of the day. When you take all things into consideration, just what he's been able to execute out here. The barrels, the calves, the strong finishes, impeccable wave selection. He's even got a rainbow on his head. <laughs> 20 seconds to go now. Jack Freestone and Nat Young, well, they'll go home and watch the footage of Julian to figure out what to do in the second round. I mean, Julian ripped this heat. Uh, the surfing, technically, everything he did was perfect, but he was also in great rhythm. That's half the battle here at J-Bay. The heat coming to a close. Just one more.